Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a real easy recipe and it's going to be butter squash with brown sugar and butter and I'm going to put it in the oven. It's a real uh, easy recipe but it's real good. You can use it as a dessert or you can use it as a side dish. So for this one I'm going to use one cup of brown sugar and this is the kind I'm using, the real dark one. And I'm going to use a half of butter of this one half of the bar and this is my butter squash um, it's big so I'm gonna start by peeling all the the squash and I'm gonna cut it in pieces okay I already removed all the skin out of right here and it's real red it's right here Ugh, the color is real pretty so I'm gonna remove the seeds and cut them in pieces now okay as you can see, I'm removing all the seeds and I'm using this little tool. If you don't have something like this, you can use a spoon. And always try to wash your, your squash before you start peeling because we don't need it to be wet. It looks like this when I remove all the seeds. Okay, as you can see, I have my, my cookie sheet. Uh, over here and I put foil so I'm gonna put butter in it and I put the foil because we're gonna be using brown sugars so we butter everything in here and we're gonna go piece by piece put in butter so you put in here inside as you can see and then on top Okay, so I'm going to do one side first and then I do the, the other side. And then we're going to start with the brown sugar. So everything has butter on top. So now we're going to put the, the brown sugar on top. It can be less than, a brown, uh, than one cup. I'm probably going to use probably only half of the cup, as you can see. And then we're going to turn them to the other side and do the same thing, okay? Put brown sugar on top. already have it ready, so we're going to put it in the oven, and I'm going to use the oven in 350. Okay, I already put it in the oven, so we're going to let it cook, and we'll see how long it takes. It might take like 30 minutes, but uh, we're going to wait until it's soft. That's when it's already done. As you can see, it's already done and it smells real good. So I'm going to get it out and put it on a plate. And with the leftover brown sugar, uh, I did a little syrup so I can put on top. So I'm going to put the syrup on top. Just on top. And it looks real tasty and it's real good. And the house smells real nice. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and, and thank you for watching my videos.